guys, my name is Caroline. If we've never met before, uh, welcome. So I'm owner of Studio Survival Pilates in Saint Laurent, Quebec. Um, welcome to my YouTube page. If you're not a subscriber, hopefully you will subscribe. Um, so today we're actually going to be doing uh, a video that's going to focus more on stretches. There's going to be four stretches included, um, so you have no excuse not to have time to do it. It's something that's going to be very quick. You can ideally do it on a daily basis. You can do it in the morning before you get up. You can do it in the evening before you go to bed. So these are actually yoga based stretches. Um, but they're really for anybody. You don't have to be, uh, you don't have to be somebody who does yoga. They're really open for anybody. They're specifically targeted for people who sit a lot, which unfortunately is most of the society. So if you find yourself sitting a lot at home, uh, especially in these times, or if you sit a lot at your desk, what you'll notice is over time, uh, you know, little pains start to happen you lose mobility, you lose flexibility. So these are really four stretches that are geared for these type of people. Um, so if you spend a lot of time sitting, uh, what you'll notice, first of all, is we don't always sit up like completely straight in our chair. We'll start to lose uh, flexibility uh, in our muscles, in our lower legs. You'll notice that you'll have very, you'll develop over time very tight hips. So I've got a really good stretch for tight hips. Um, you'll also notice that posture will start to round our backs and that will become, um, the body will get used to it and this unfortunately will become sort of our regular posture, the head tilting forward, the shoulders rounding in, the upper back rounding. So we really want to get away from that. We really want to try to change um, our ways. So I will also include stretches for, this, for spinal mobility as well. And another one I'll add at the end, which is great for digestion, which unfortunately a lot of us suffer from issues. Uh, so this hopefully will help clear it up. All right. So what's great about this video, you don't need any equipment. Um, you don't even need a mat. If you can even do this at your office, you're welcome to. I'll offer a few little modifications. So let's get started. We're going to start on all four. So we're going to be weight bearing. Now, if you have any issues with your wrists, uh, or if for whatever reason you don't like to weight bear, you can do this stretch standing or even sitting in a chair. So this is called cat cow. This is one of my favorite stretches. Even though it's a yoga stretch, I incorporate it into my Pilates classes when I'm teaching. It's great for spinal mobility. It's great to open up the chest. It's great to open up the shoulders. So let's get going. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips. You're gonna widen the fingers, really spread them apart. Now the only thing I want you to start doing is See if you can tuck your tailbone in and then release it. Almost imagine kind of a dog, but it's bringing its tail between its legs, right? So hopefully you guys can see I'm rounding the lower part of my back. I'm just tucking in. Now already now I'm starting to feel, oh, I'm starting to feel a release in the lower back. It feels great. So do that a couple more. So we're breathing out through the mouth. You can purse your lips, inhale through the nose. Now, now we're gonna do the rest of the spine. Start from tucking the tailbone, continuously round the lower back, the middle back, the upper back, the head, look towards your belly button. Inhale, now we're gonna do the cow face. Lift the head, can you look straight ahead? Can you open your chest? Can you open your shoulders? Don't just stick your bum out. Get that movement happening in the upper back. Exhale, round. So how many of these? You can work up to 10. If you want to do this two, three times a day, you're more than welcome to. Now, the video is not very long, so I'm not going to do 10. I'm going to do about one more. So I'm going to do about a total of three. And then open up the chest. And then release. All right, so next stretch, I talked about tight hips before. This is a great one for anyone who has tight hips. So for this one, you're gonna lie flat on your back. Okay, this one is known as the figure four. So 
I'm going to show you a few different variations. I'm going to start with my right foot below my left knee and I'm going to focus on opening my right leg. So this is the initial position. Now if you're very tight in your hips and you're groin, you're going to feel this and you're going to just want to stay here. Now for the other ones, next phase, you're going to try to lift the left leg up in a tabletop. Now I'm going to try to keep my spine, my back long, okay? Trying to keep my tailbone on the floor. I can take my hands, wrap them around the left thigh, flex both feet. Okay. For some of you, this might be a struggle. If it is, maintain the same position, but rest your left foot against the wall. So I don't have a wall, but I'm going to pretend this is my wall. So this is going to be much less strenuous, right? You can just stay here. Now stretches, how long? I'd say minimum 30 seconds. Try to work up to a minute. And you can do it multiple times a day. You're going to rest all the way down, switch, you're going to take the other foot on, go into this position. Now my left side is tighter, so I'm already feeling this, but I'm going to make an effort to lift my right thigh, my right leg, hands behind, flex both feet, push that left thigh away. Doesn't this feel good? <laughs> okay. And hold. And breathe. So remember guys, as I mentioned before, don't be shy. You can do this these stretches every single day and I'm going to release all the way down. All right, so I'm going to come up to a sitting position. I'm going to have you guys line your stomachs. I'm going to do the cobra next and then I'm going to finish off with the last stretch. So there's four stretches to do. So for cobra, line your stomach on your mat. Now, if you know that you tend, you have a sort of a, a bigger arch in your lower back, this might not be comfortable. This might actually be compressing your lower back. Put a pillow underneath your belly just to support the lower back. Because what you want to do is you don't want to be kind of like in a, what we call anterior tilt. You don't want to be sticking your bum out. You want to try to keep your bum tucked. Okay. So I'm going to take my hands right next to my chest. I'm just going to move over a bit. My elbows, can you guys see my elbows are up? Can you bring your elbows as close to your torso as possible? Don't let them flail out. Really pull them in. Now from here, we're going to focus on elongation. We're going to lengthen the top of the head. Imagine you're a turtle. You know a turtle's a little shy. It comes out of its shell very slowly. Think of that image. Keep reaching, keep reaching, keep reaching, keep reaching, keep reaching. Look to the front of your mat and then come all the way down. Now, this is a modified version of Cobra. I'm not going to go up as high. I'm focusing on length. Now, why is this such a good exercise to do? Because this helps to strengthen the muscles along your spine, what we call the spine extensors. Think of your cat-cow, think of the cow position. You know how nice it felt? So this, if you do this on a regular basis, your posture will improve. And then come all the way down and release. You can go into a shell stretch. That's always a nice way to take a break in between. Okay guys, we have one more stretch to do. We're gonna work on rotation. I'm gonna sit with my legs crossed. I'm comfortable in this position. Some of you might not be. If that's the case, do this sitting in a chair or prop yourself up on some cushions. Okay, so any kind of rotation, we don't do enough rotation in our everyday lives, but any kind of rotation actually helps. It's an internal massage for your organs. Don't forget, you sit a lot of the time. What happens when you sit? Your spine gets compressed. Your organs get compressed. You develop issues with your digestive system. So we always want to try to open this up, right, to release. So any kind of rotation is great. Now, you want to do rotation correctly. So first thing, anchor your weight in your sit bones. Second thing, try to lengthen both sides of your spine. Now, you're going to try to move not from the hips, not from the lower back, from the upper back. So. Take my hand, or take your hand here, lengthen both sides of the waist, twist. Now push that hand against the thigh. That's going to help you go a little further back. Now I'm going to rest my other hand on the floor. I'm breathing. Doesn't this feel amazing? 
Again, you're trying to make it up to at least 30 seconds. Release all the way back. Take the other hand, other hand behind. Can you lengthen both sides? Can you twist? And come all the way back. So guys, we're done. See? Very simple. It will not take a long time. Everybody has time to do it. So remember these four stretches. Thank you for joining me today. Please subscribe to my YouTube page. I hope to see you soon again, guys. Take care. Bye.